you know, you never have you never have peace while you're while you're in the church. And one thing I always tell these members, like it, it, it's funny, like like you know, they they tell you when you first come into the church, the the spill is you you're a sinner. You try to kill God in heaven. You know, you're you're not saved. You need to keep the Passover. If you keep the Passover, you're forgiven of your sins. You feel a God. You're saved. You're good. You're so good. If you keep the Passover, you're good. You're saved. You you can sleep like a baby tonight because you're going to heaven. But what happens is, after you keep Passover, you go back for another study. Now it went from you being saved after keeping Passover. Yeah, well, you kept Passover. That's good. But did you know you need to keep the Sabbath? You know, the Sabbath is on Saturday. And if you don't keep the Sabbath, you don't have a sign between you and God. And so Matthew 7, 21 says, God will tell you he never knew you because you don't have that sign. So, yeah, it's fine that you kept the Passover, but now you got to keep the Sabbath. So now what do the members do? They keep the Sabbath as well. So now, like, oh, we're good. We're saved. We kept the Sabbath. We kept the Passover. We're good. No. Not, not not so fast. Now that you kept the Sabbath, did you know that you got a tithe? Oh, if you don't tithe, you're not connected to Melchizedek. You're not connected. You don't believe the promise of the Passover. You don't really believe the things that you did. So now if you don't tithe, now you're not saved. So now you're not just keeping Passover. You're not just keeping Sabbath. Now you're tithing too. So you're good now. No way. Oh, you're you're doing all that good. But are you preaching every day? Oh, you're not preaching every day? Oh, brother, if you're not preaching every day, you're not, if you're not bearing fruit, you're a, a, a wicked, lazy servant. And according to that parable, you cannot be saved because you're going to be, you're going to be thrown out. You're going to be punished. Right? And so it, it turns from doing one thing and you're good to doing another and another. And it just keeps adding on and adding on and adding on. And so it, it just, it consumes you. And it's never enough. It's never enough. You never feel, even after doing all these things, you never feel peace. 